So you may have seen one of my videos that outlined the process of how to procedurally randomize a character using the shader editor or using nodes in Blender. And that process is great for a lot of things, but there are limitations. And one of those limitations is having your characters available in the viewport. Is there any way to do this physically in the 3D view without materials, without cycles? And then I sat down and I spent days writing scripts in Python trying to make this process happen and I created a process for this. So this video is not nearly as much about teaching as it is giving you my new add-on and showing you how to use it. I have these duplicated heads and they look different, but really they're all the same heads. And this whole process works off of shape keys. Each of these have the same shape keys because it's the same model. So let me delete all of these and start from the beginning. So just a disclaimer, the FZ randomizer is brand new and I do plan to upgrade this as I go. If I get new ideas or, or new features I want to include into this, I will roll this out into future updates of the tool. But for now, it's pretty bare bones and it gets the job done. So right here, we have in the FC randomizer, it shows you what your active object is, as well as how many objects you have selected. So if I were to duplicate this object and I select them both, it'll say I have two objects selected and it'll tell you which one my active object is. When I hit randomize parameter, it's going to randomly assign to one of these characters the hair or whatever the prefix you give it is. It can be used for anything, not just characters, but any mesh that you decide to work with. So let's take a look in our shape keys here. I have a basis, which is the first shape key you get when you make a new shape key. This is basically the starting point of your shape keys, as you should know that. And then I have all these different ones here, which I've named accordingly. So this thing works off of a naming convention in your, in your shape keys. So any, any what I call prefix, so any prefix, and that's what I'm calling this is the prefix, hair underscore. Any shape key I make with hair underscore will be randomized when I hit randomize parameter. But this is just a text box. I can also randomize the beard. If I change the beard and I randomize that parameter for each of these characters. And I just keep hitting randomize until I find one that I liked. And look, this works on as many characters as you have selected at the same time. So I can select all eight characters and randomize the beard parameter for each of them. Now I can change the prefix to hair because now I'm ready to randomize the hair and I'll randomize this parameter. Cool. So that's just one parameter. And this is just for heads. You have to think bigger picture than characters because this works for characters, but this can work for anything too. So let me show you a little deeper dive here. So here is my character. And this is the base mesh and it has no shape keys on but the basis. In fact, I'll delete that just so we have a starting, fresh starting point. So this process, this add-on works off of the shape keys. And here's how you make them. Anytime you want to have a different hairstyle or a different accessory that's randomized or anything, you have to have a shape key for that. And the objects have to be one object. So let's walk through it together. I'll add a basis shape key. This is the starting point. This is every hairstyle laid on top of each other in the same mesh. As you can see, if I go in here, all the hairstyles are packed on top of each other. Just like we did in the character randomizer for the materials, the same thing applies here. So that's in the basis. Everything's visible at once. So we'll just work our way down. I'll add a new shape key. And it's important that we keep in mind our prefix. Now our prefix is what's going to determine our group of shape keys per se. So just because I have written hair here, that doesn't. There's no. There's no set prefixes. You can decide whatever you want to name your own prefixes. You can name them hats or hair or beards or glasses. Any or anything. It doesn't have to be character related. Any character or mesh object that you want to randomize, just create a grouping of shape keys. So I'll call this one hair underscore poof, and that means this is a hair object, and it's the poof. So. This specific style is the poof. It's this one right here. And in this shape key, I will just grab that sh that hairstyle and I will scale it to zero. Now, that means whenever this hair poof is at one, we're not going to see it. So the add-on kind of works backwards in the sense that it sets every, every hairstyle that it's not going to see to one. And the hairstyle that is being visible is set at zero. This just makes it a little bit easier to work with the base mesh so that way we can see every hairstyle that we have at once rather than having them hidden in the base mesh. So let's keep going. I'll add another hairstyle. This is hair. And this hairstyle, we already did the big one. I'll hide that. 
I'll select this tall hair and again for this shape key you'll scale that object to zero so that way it's not available at all it's all the size of one vertex so that means it's essentially invisible inside of the shape key so we'll go back and I'll add another hair hair short and then I'll hide this one and then here's the short hair I will just scale this one to zero now remember uh, the other ones aren't missing they're just hidden if I alt H I'll bring them all back the only one that's missing now is the short hair but it's not necessarily it's not technically missing it's just scaled to zero so you'll never see it anyway and that's the trick behind this whole add-on is the ones that aren't there they are there they're just scaled to nothing so we have two more hairstyles a balding hairstyle and that's this guy right here I will scale that to zero there's another freebie we get out of this and that's just hair shaven a shaven hairstyle where there's no hair basically I'm gonna do nothing in the shape key because I don't want any of the hairstyles to be visible so it doesn't make much sense right now but basically if this one's selected then all the other ones are gonna be subtracted to zero and the nothingness will show in the right way if that makes sense so that's all of our hairstyles right there now we can move on to the beard so I have another accessory that I want to randomize we can just give it a different prefix this one will be called beard underscore whichever beard style that is so I'll do the mustache first I'll go into the mustache and I'll select this and I'll scale it to zero I'll select the goatee and I'll scale it to nothingness call it beard full again scale it to nothingness and again we get another freebie we can just get shaven and again we'll do nothing here because we don't want to get rid of anything so now we're ready to go our add-ons ready to work for us so I can look here in my randomizer and right now I have the hair going on so if you were to look in here um, if I were to duplicate this over the, the materials are all going to change randomly and um, if you want to see how to do how to walk through making random hairstyles and um, random hair materials uh, check out my other video that goes over that this is mostly just about the mesh and the add-on right here so I'll duplicate this over a couple times so I want to randomize the hair I will just select the characters I want to randomize and I'll make sure the prefix is ready and I'll randomize that parameter and every time I click it it's going to give me a different randomization and this prefix will work for as many accessories as you want again say you want to randomize glasses or uh, headbands or masks you know the really anything you want to randomize you can make a prefix for that and randomize that parameter the same way we did hair the same way we did beards so let me let me just walk you through the last little feature of the of the randomizer L let's give our characters some parameters almost like a Skyrim character customization menu so we'll give him eye width and I'll pull these to the extreme let's do another one let's do nose height again we take these to the maximum that, that they can go to so let's say the ears can get really high and maybe almost elvish right almost like almost like pointy like elven ears tend to do so your character could do that cheekiness that's a cheeky little guy huh cheeky boy oh yeah that's a chunk what a chunk you gotta love him all right that that's full cheek right there doesn't get more cheek than that all right sweet so here's the trick we have all of our parameters for our character again you can make a million more if you want to these don't have precursors before them but what I'll do is I'll duplicate my character a couple times now first this might look weird so I have four of these I have six of these characters my, my apologies and I'll do the shape key scrambler now again it's gonna be weird at first because it's also gonna scramble the hair and beards so I'll scramble these up and I'll make some character randomizations cool there we go some random characters right now we have to re randomize the parameters because it randomizes the hairs as well so I'll just go ahead and randomize the hair all right just give each one a random hairstyle I like that now let's just randomize the beard 
Randomized perimeter. Oh, I liked the big beard on that guy and the second guy to the left. There we go. Okay. <laughs> so there. Six random characters just based off of shape keys and the FZ randomizer. Go to Gumroad and download my plugin. Link is in the description. The add-on costs nothing to download. It's free for you to download. However, if you want to buy me a coffee, feel free to feel free to drop a little drop a little number in that uh, in that add-on section. Go use it and let me know if this helps you. I know some people were asking for this and I really hope this helps. But the cool thing about this tool is that it works great for characters, but it can be used for any object, not just characters. Anything you can think that would need variation, it can do. So be sure to subscribe, drop a comment, and let me know if this helped you. Until next time, take care.